Okay, uh, welcome back everyone. Today's lesson is going to uh, visually demonstrate how to draw an isometric hole using the drafting board. Um, I'm going to kind of narrate this presentation to try to fill in any of the gaps that uh, the presentation doesn't elaborate on. So if you take a look at the top of the image here above the isometric hole title, um, that's kind of like what we're going to end up with after everything is done. Um, students have always had questions as to how to create isometric holes after they've created their three-dimensional isometric solid shapes. Um, this should be able to kind of be flipped to any side that you need. What you're seeing here is a top-down view. Uh, you should be able to translate this information and, and rotate this by 90 degrees and put it on the side as well. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, of course, locate your centers. Um, of your holes and you're going to be using your 30, 60, 90 triangle and you're going to specifically be using 30 degree lines. Um, the 30 degree lines are here and here and obviously where they intersect that would be the center of your hole. So using your isometric um, dimensioned geometry provided with these challenges it's going to show you where the center of these are going to be and then they're going to provide the diameters. So first hand, um, you're going to create an isometric square after you create your center point. Okay, so this needs to be square. So you want to make sure that from the center point, we have the same distance going this direction as we do this direction, as we do this direction, and this direction. Okay, um, this is going to be specifically equal to the length of the diameter that you need. Okay, and then that diameter that you need will be scaled if we're drawing a scale, and then that's going to be the actual measurement. Uh, represented by the scale so um, if you don't understand what I'm explaining at the moment we're not there yet so once again the red lines are basically indicative of your diameter okay so from the top vertex you're gonna draw diagonal lines to the midpoint lines as you see here um, so you're just gonna connect using a straight edge this point to this point and once again, I would put your pencil on one of the points first, slide your straight edge over, and then draw the line as you rock it over to this point. Don't put your straight edge on first and then think that you've lined it up. Put your pencil where it needs to be, slide your straight edge over to your pencil, and then rotate from that point to where the line needs to end. So draw these two lines as such from intersection to intersection. Then you're going to create a horizontal line in the position that's shown here, all the way across. Okay. So when this happens, you're going to have create two additional intersections that um, are of importance here and here. We're going to take our compass and we're actually going to put our point of our compass on those blue intersections. Okay. So from this point you're going to sweep this arc. From this point, you're going to sweep this arc. <clears throat> and afterwards, you're going to take this intersection from your square, and you're going to sweep this top arc. And then you're going to go from this intersection, you're going to sweep this bottom arc. Now there are going to be two different radius values, okay, because of the isometric. Okay, we went from here, this this point, sorry, out to here, and then we went from this point out to here. Okay, that was the same radius going horizontally across. <clears throat> now we have a, a different radius value from here to this arc, right, and then from here to this arc. So unlike a traditional circle, okay, we have an ellipse. <clears throat> so at this point. Um, I want you to draw a vertical line from this intersection down lightly as in a construction line using your 2H pencil. Measure the vertical distance that you want and which will indicate how thick the material is that this hole um, belongs onto or how deep you want the hole to go into a piece of material. Maybe it's not all the way through. And once you do that, you're going to take <coughs> you're going to take your compass and you're going to swing it across starting at 
this intersection and you're going to go all the way across and it's going to be at this point. Okay, so to get a three-dimensional isometric hole, measure directly down a specified distance and draw the arc for the bottom side hole for your isometric. Okay, so at that point you should have a completed isometric hole and the process is done. Congratulations. So once again, you should be able to translate this information <clears throat> onto any other part. You should be able to rotate this um, and have this, if you want to think of it as a half moon or a quarter moon, over here on the side so it's facing a different direction. Hopefully you found this informative. Have a nice day.